Okay, so in this video, I just want to make sure that you're happy with integrating 2 to the x. Um, now, really, this is down to whether you can remember what 2 to the x differentiated to, okay? So, y equals 2 to the x. Now, what that differentiates to is log of 2 times 2 to the x, okay? Now, that can be shown um, using uh, taking logarithms to both sides and using uh, implicit differentiation. Okay, um, so if you haven't learned implicit differentiation yet, um, don't worry. Okay, you can come back and see why that is the case. Now, once you understand that y equals 2 to the x differentiates to log 2 times 2 to the x, integrating 2 to the x is a straightforward going backwards here, okay? So that means that this has to integrate to 1 over log 2 times 2 to the x, uh, plus your constant of integration c. Because we know that if I differentiate 2 to the x, I get this, and I need to get back to that. So I'm going to need to divide by the log 2 to knock that log 2 out. This will differentiate back to this. Okay? So in general, we can say that uh, the integral of uh, a to the x dx is equal to 1 over log a times a to the x plus c. Now... Um, obviously, that comes with the condition that a is greater than zero here, okay? Just so we're clear. Now, this should, if I substitute a for e, now work perfectly well for that as well, okay? So if I have e to the x dx, I would get 1 over log of e, e to the x plus c. And of course, 1 over log e is 1 over 1. So we just get e to the x plus c. So our rule that we have here works perfectly well for e to the x. Oh, didn't box that in though, did I? OK, works perfectly well for e to the x as well. So as long as you know and remember this rule, integrating back uh, is really very straightforward.